Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, and the obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Uh, at the end, we will get love messages from whoever is in your mind. Alright, so remember that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. For some, there could be drama around it, like a workplace situation. But for others, there's there's a huge change that's happening. Something that's trying to balance out, but it does feel like there's some type of conflict. Like either it's monetary-wise or um, otherwise it would feel like both sides maybe aren't like putting in the effort. Like one side maybe is. All right, immediate future for the gems. What's coming up? You got the nine of wands, the four of wands. The why I chuckled was because it's like something's given the appearance that like somebody's moving on, like they're not still holding on to something, but they most definitely are. I don't know who this is. I don't know what situation. It could be like. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. It could be like around. Let's say like there's. There's like something in the family and everybody wants it. Maybe it's a recipe and money, something like that. But anyway, so communication could even be blocked. But it's the appearance of moving past something is how it's feeling. But somebody is, is not trying to let go. Like, uh, All right, show me the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. But it feels like this is like a skeptical Wounded Warrior. Like somebody, yeah, something's changing here. But something is trying to push forward. It's trying to expand, basically. Oh, shit. Show me the wheel. The wheel is all about destined change. But that leads to growth. Alright, you got the Seven of Pentacles and the Hermit, the Three of Wands. So, I mean, there could, there, there definitely feels like there's a waiting period here. Like, uh, I don't know if this change, I think this change is kind of slow moving. This could be something that, like you've invested a lot of time and energy into, but somebody's really been contemplating now. So with the Three of Wands, there's been like a wait for, yeah, the hangman at the bottom, Pisces energy for some. There's like an apology or somebody waiting for communication waiting like to figure out where things stand so it's kind of like a skeptical hesitant wounded warrior um but with the seven of pentacles that is about kind of like reaping what you sow uh putting time and energy and waiting for things to take off but it almost feels like this is something that gives the illusion like it's not moving or like a situation that's not moving gives the appearance almost that like things are kind of either closed off or just not moving at all but that's not the case show me the four of pentacles for gemini please the three of swords so there is a lot to be said for a distance here um somebody could have definitely got their feelings hurt their heartbroken type thing watch out for gossip there show me um there could be someone or something that's like at a distance that you're holding on to show me that three of swords the Three of Swords uh, represents, like I said, distance, which you have two distance cards, but it also does look like pain. So, um, you know, the Two of Swords, and that's kind of what's brought the situation to like this crossroads, to this bump in the road. Like, so now with the Two of Swords, um, it's kind of like something that that's come to a crossroads and that's why i don't think you're seeing like that somebody's kind of still holding on here but don't hold on to like past pain i think someone keeps that in i don't know who that is it could be you could be this emperor it could be dealing with the aries i don't think it's like expressed though I don't think it's said. I think with the Temperance and the Four of Swords, there's almost, it's two ways. Either things have been really quiet or it gives the appearance that like everything is all good. 
Show me the Knight of Wands, please, for Gemini. So we could be dealing with a younger fire sign. Doesn't have to be the Four of Cups. This could be somebody. Uh, the Four of Wands is a non-committal energy. It could be like somebody who's like a player type. Or just like not settling down at the moment. But um, it's kind of just the energy surrounding it. Because this person's really trying to reach out or someone is. But with the Four of Cups there, it's um, that's kind of like, um, you know, you see that cup flying right there. And it's like, nope, I'm not going to reach. It's kind of a stubborn energy. But, I mean, <clears throat> with the Two of Swords in the middle of it all, especially for the obstacles, it feels like somebody really got their heart broke or is hurt and doesn't know how to move forward past that, although they have not <clears throat> let go. Um, so with the Two of Swords, you know, heart chakras, intuition, things like that, it kind of can be cut off. Yeah, somebody's going to miss a chance at love here. Because with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups, um, the Ace of Cups is feelings. It's an incredible amount, an overflowing amount of love there. But with the Four of Cups, it's like, like I said, somebody just doesn't reach out and grab it. Kind of coming off the, I mean, that can be a self-doubt card too. Or, you know, maybe somebody's not ready to settle down or just really ignoring their feelings. Why the Four of Cups? Thank you. Okay. The Knight of Cups, because they definitely have feelings. The Nine of Cups and the Tower. This person's coming. You may have two people here, but um, actually there could be a proposal. It would be probably more like September, though. Um, but again, with the Nine of Cups, this is like something that somebody really wants. And then, like, that they see as a wish, but it kind of just sit there with the Nine of Cups. It's not very much of an action card. Definitely, you know, on their mind, though. It's just a whole lot of not knowing how or, like, it, it, like I said, it's giving the appearance that someone's not holding on, but they are. All right, give me messages from Gemini's person. Somebody just might need to really take it slow. I mean, that's what's happening with the Knight of Pentacles there. I'm not sure about that tower, though. Tower's a pretty strong force. Okay. Um, messages from Gemini's person. You have, I know I was a distraction from your pain. I want you. My life is not as together as it seems. I left before you could leave me. I feel you leaving me behind. All right, Gemini. So I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.